Flying is a tricky business, but when you're less than half a millimetre long, like this feathery winged beetle, things get even trickier. At this scale, the laws of physics work differently. Air feels more like syrup. And until recently, scientists thought this beetle didn't fly at all. Instead, they thought it was just carried along by the wind, like plankton carried by currents. But not only can this insect fly, it can fly fantastically. And now, using a combination of cutting-edge techniques, scientists are getting to the bottom of how it does it. Normally, the bigger the creature, the faster the flight. But this tiny beetle, called Paratoposa placentis, bucks that trend, flying as fast as critters three times its size. The journey to work out how starts in Vietnam, where the beetles were collected from fungi. High-speed cameras then captured their flight at almost 4,000 frames per second from two different perspectives at the same time. And the data from these observations allowed the team to run 3D simulations using an adaptive grid you can see it adapting as the beetle flaps to capture all the crucial details. Meanwhile, a range of microscopy techniques carefully captured the structure of the strange feather-like wings in new detail. All these approaches have been used before, but applying them to a creature this small was a challenge. A challenge that paid off, revealing a brand new way of flying. It turns out that that bristly wing structure is key to the beetle's flight. Its unusual form saves on weight without compromising much on strength or power at these scales. This makes it easier for the beetle to move its wing. And unlike other insects which move their wings back and forth, P. placentis moves its wing in this figure of eight motion. It also claps its wings together as they raise up to reduce drag. Finally, the researchers found that even the wing cases play an important role, balancing out the movement of the wings and keeping the beetle's body stable. All these tricks come together to help the beetle to overcome some of the unique challenges of microscopic flight. You see, when you're so small, the crucial physics changes. The friction within the air, the viscosity, becomes a primary concern. And as P. placentis demonstrates, different physics means you need different tactics. Uncovering the secrets of P. placentis' flight is just the tip of the iceberg. The team are hoping they can use the same combination of approaches to reveal the diverse flying techniques of other tiny insects too. This could help scientists understand how flight works at different scales and conditions, one day maybe even allowing humans to build whole new kinds of flying machines. Big impacts from tiny wings.